everybody, this is Rachel with the Ability 411 on Wednesdays, and we are talking about stereotypes. And there are a lot of them, and misconceptions about people with disabilities and quadriplegics. And I'm actually in the car right now, so if you hear some navigation, that's why. I'm on my way to my friend's birthday party. I've had kind of a rough week. My dog actually got hurt and has a minor spinal cord injury. What do you know? And he is doing okay. He just doesn't have all the connections to his back legs quite yet, but he's doing a lot better. So haven't been so happy about that, but he's doing a lot better. But back to misconceptions. Um, I have three main ones that I want to talk about. And the first one being that people in wheelchairs or people with disabilities don't usually have a regular loving relationship. They don't get married, they don't have boyfriends or girlfriends. And I am a quadriplegic and I just got married a year ago to the love of my life. And uh, we are very happy together. And when my story came out, a lot of people were like, oh, he'll probably leave her or, you know, she should let him go because he shouldn't have to deal with all that. And people just don't realize like, well, one, there's a lot of things I can do for myself that they don't think I can do for myself. But even still, like if you love somebody, you don't just go at the first sign of something going wrong. And if that does happen, then you probably shouldn't be with that person in the first place anyways. So I was very lucky to have found someone who cared enough to stay, you know, regardless of whether things weren't, you know, not the way that we had planned. But we had a beautiful wedding and we hope to have kids. And I know that's another misconception. A lot of people wonder, um, hey, can they have sex? Can she have kids? And of course they can. Um, so that's definitely the next thing on our list is to have a kid. Another misconception is, um, we well usually this applies to like quadriplegics. I think a lot of people think that we can't drive because we don't have hand function, but we actually can. And I just started driving a couple weeks ago. I have a tripod on the steering wheel and basically it goes around my wrists and something sticks up to go in between my hands so it's kind of like I'm gripping it with my hands it's already kind of shaped like this um, so it helps me grip the steering wheel and then I have a hand control on the left and I don't even need to grip it I just push down for gas and push forward for brake so it's pretty easy and it's not that bad it's still kind of scary but I'm just learning but yes quads can drive. If you are learning to drive, um, good luck. It's scary at first, but you'll totally get used to it. It's no big deal. And if you haven't started driving and you're too scared to try, you should definitely go for it. It's really not that bad. I learned in like four hours and took my driving test and it was totally okay. Um, let's see. Another misconception. Uh, I talk to kids a lot and I ask them, hey, do you guys think I can play sports? And all of them just yell, no, no, you can't play sports. And that's definitely not true. There are a lot of sports out there for people with disabilities, for quadriplegics. I play quad rugby, like I've said before. I have a hand cycle. I've gone surfing. I've gone water skiing. There's a lot of things out there for people with disabilities when it comes to sports. And as you all know, the Paralympics are coming up. And these are some of the best athletes in the world. Whether they're disabled or not, they could, they're, they could probably... I'll do some able-bodied people and some stuff, so there's some pretty awesome athletes out there. So I think people just think that we really can't do anything for ourselves, that we just sit around depressed all day, we can't have boyfriends, we can't play sports, we can't drive, we don't do anything, and all of that is very, very wrong. We live happy, productive lives, and even though it's only been two years from me, um, since my injury, I have, you know, moved on as much as I possibly can at this point. It's, you know, I've still got some learning to do and things to figure out, but I'm sure I will. And let's see, I guess that's all I have from a quadriplegic, newly injured perspective. Um, it was good talking to you and sorry for the late video again, but I've been traveling all day to my friend's birthday and I've had my dog issues, so I will see you guys next Wednesday.